no redeemer like you no fortress no hiding place like you you are the one with whom we have to do you have not called us to seek you in vain you said we should call upon you in the days of trouble you said you will answer us and we will glorify you we have come before you the sovereign monarch of the universe we have come before you the one who was never appointed or elected we have come before you the one who cannot be contested with you stand in the class all alone by yourself your immortality is beyond question for immortality even dwells in you you didn't exist by being caused but you caused all things to come into existence we thank you our father for you have an outstretched arm there is nothing beyond your reach no impossibility you can fix for with you all things are possible we thank you our father we give you the praise the mighty one we thank you because you are the great warrior you never lost a battle we thank you our father because you are our healer you're our physician we thank you because you're the lifter up of our heads we honor your majesty we glorify you our father let your name be praised today every man every woman every boy every girl across the nation of the earth will praise you we praise you father we know where you brought us from we know what you brought us out of we know where we are we know what you are doing in our lives we know where you're taking us to we can see the future for you've told us in your word you know the thoughts that you're thinking towards us thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end we give you the praise we give you the glory someone lift up your voice and begin to praise the God who is mighty and faithful and loving and kind and gracious what a mighty God we serve open your mouth and begin to praise him praise him like you've never done before if God has ever been good to you praise him in the midst of the fire praise him when you're going through the storm praise him he is faithful he's bringing you through this I don't know who I'm speaking to but the Lord said I should tell you I'm bringing you through this I'm bringing you through this I'm bringing you through this did I not tell you in my word when you go through the fire I will be with you yes did I not tell you in my word that when you go through the waters, I will be with you. The waters will not overflow you. The fire will not be kindled on you. Oh, come on somebody. Did, did I not tell you that I will bring you through this? I'm speaking to somebody who is going through a life-threatening disease. Did I not tell you before this began that I will see you through? Did I not tell you, say ever Lord, that I will not fail you, nor forsake you? Begin to give them praise. I'm hearing the Father said, Did I not tell you that I will never leave you, nor forsake you? That you may be bold enough to say, The Lord was my helper. The Lord is my helper. He said, I should ask you, did I not tell you that in famine you will laugh? Did I not tell you? When many are saying there's a casting down, that you will say there's a lifting up. Did I not tell you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, although yeah. the fig tree may not close up, I will wait yes. all the days of my appointed time for my change will come. Did 
die nor tell you you, that I will bless the second half of your life more than the first half. Did I nor tell you that this sickness is not unto death? Did I not tell you? Somebody begin to give him praise. Begin to give him praise. Say, my father, I thank you because you told me and I believe you and I praise you because I'm coming out of this right now. I'm coming out now. I'm coming out of this now. I'm coming out of this right now. Because you told me, therefore you I told me, you 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 I never believed you. I believed you. I believed you. I you. told you. I you. I believed you. I Isi pale nadia, Grace, give him praise. Emmanuel, give him praise. Juliet, give him praise. Vera, give him praise. John, give him praise. Everybody, give him praise. Say, my Father, my God, I thank you because you told me before it ever happened. You told me that they will come against me in one way but they shall flee in seven somebody say my father you told me he told you that they will come against you in one way but they will flee in seven they will flee in seven thank God they will flee in seven Seven. Yeah. Whosoever comes against you in one way, it is predicted they will exit in seven ways. Whatsoever has come against you in one way, it will flee in seven ways. Somebody open your mouth and say, My father, my father, this shall flee in seven ways. This shall flee in seven ways. Begin to give them praise. My victory is established. I feel the fire of God here. My brother has a little verista. You told me that none shall be barren in your house. You told me that I will not be barren. You told me that I will lend to nations. I will not borrow. I will not borrow. You told me and I believe it. I confess it. I declare it. Open your mouth and give him praise. Say, my father, my father, I give you the praise because you told me that I will be the head and not be I will be a pope. I will not be on the, You told me. You said in going out, I will be blessed. In coming in, I will be blessed. You told me. You will bless my basket. You will bless my body. You will bless the work of my hands. You will bless the thoughts of my mind. Lord, I thank you. Because you told me. In Paragesiata. Shakande Bia. Everybody type and declare what he told you. 
Type it and declare it. Say, my father, I thank you because you told me. Now type and declare. Announce it. Announce it. Announce it. Announce it. Announce it. Today is a day of victory and dominion by the power of your word. We are praying with authority. We are commanding results. You told me. 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 I will build houses. I will build not a house. I will build houses. You said I will build houses. Pastor Shego. He said I will build houses. And you said I will dwell in them. I will dwell in them. You said I will build houses. You said I will dwell in them. You didn't say I will rent houses. You said I will build houses. And you said I will dwell in them. Oh, Fabenia, you said I will own lands. My God, I give you praise. Your word is true. I confess it. In the midst of trials, I declare your word. You are faithful. You are true. You are just. You are committed to your word. Word, so word. I confess it. So I Somebody it. type and I declare, I My it. father, my father, I thank you because you told me. You told me I'm going to get lunch in the mighty of Jesus. You you Jesus. Mary, I'm here, you Mary, he he told you. Mary, he told you. Akahoma, he told you. Opajulu, he told you. Shiparo, me, Sila, precious, he told you. Pastor Shepard, there's somebody watching me right now. The Lord said I should remember, remind you that I told you, I told you that I will put the solitary in a family. So why are you worried over marriage? Did I not tell you that I will put the solitary in family? Did I not promise you marriage? Did I not tell you you will be Hezeba, you will be Beulah? Did I not tell you that you will be desired and you will be married? Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that your children will surround you round about your table? Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that your children will be like quivers in the harrow and arrows in the quivers of the mighty? Did I not tell you? Begin to give him praise because he told you you are worried because you forgot. You are afraid because you forgot. Now remember he told you. Kapaya. Talatu said he told me. Helen said he told me. In this year he said yes, you told me. If he has told you, praise him. If he has told you, praise him. Gucci said he told me. Helen said he told me. In Jesus' name. Pastor Shago, he said I should ask you. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the locust, the caterpillar, and the palma worm? Did I not tell you that I will restore those years back to you? Why are you in depression? I'm working behind the scene to make everything to be seen. I have told you, I have told you that yet a little while, and he that will come will come and will not. Did I not tell you not to cast away your confidence because it has great recompense of reward? Did I not tell you that yet a little while, yet a little while, that which is coming is coming, and the time is now. Did I not 
tell you that this is your season? Did I not tell you that this is your moment? Did I not tell you that strangers are coming to build your house? Did I not tell you that I'm sending your Cyrus with resources? Somebody say, my father, my father, I thank you because you told me you told me. Give him praise. Give him praise. I give you the praise. There's something here today. Fire in the house. Fire in the house. Come on, everybody begin to share. Begin to share the video now. Come on, everybody begin to share. Begin to share the video now. Come on, everybody begin to share. Begin to share the video now. Come on, everybody begin to share. Begin to share the video now. Come on, everybody begin to share. Begin to share the video now. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because you told me. I because you told me. Yes, Lord, you told me. You told me. You told me. Oh, listen to me. We're about to release power, but I want to show you how to do it. I want us to release the power of God. The Lord said to me, son, he said, the time has come for my people to learn how to release my power. Hey, prophetic prayer tribe, hear me and hear me well. The job of a pastor is not done. If the pastor teaches the people to depend on him, that is a bad job. The real job of a pastor is learning to teach the people how to do without him my assignment is to make myself irrelevant that is my mission to make myself irrelevant so you can pray on your own without me hear what the lord said in mark eleven twenty three. 23 the disciples were shocked when they saw jesus and he said to the tree no man shall eat of you again wow the next day in the morning they were like master the tree has dried up it don't dry up Nigerian man, he don't dry up oh. and they were like Master, this, this, is, this, is, this is only left for the gods uh, only men in the class of God can uh, do things like this yes. <laughs> and Jesus looked at them and you know what Jesus said he said I assure you, amplified version Mark eleven twenty four. 24, Jesus said I assure you this is not in the class of God like God uh, he said listen this thing is within the domain of men uh, and this is how it happens, Jesus said I assure you, and most solemnly I say to you, whoever, new child of God, old child of God, pastor, bishop, choir member, oh. it doesn't matter who you are. He said, whoever says oh. Ibaratia, that's where the power flows from. Oh. When you pull that trigger, what is loaded in the gun will find expression. You are loaded, but you are not making impact because you are not pulling the trigger. Somebody say, I will pull the trigger. I will pull the trigger. What is the value of a gun that is loaded if the trigger is not pulled? And so Jesus said to them, He said, Whoever will say, to this mountain not to a tree he said I spoke to a tree a tree can be moved he said well let me make it more complicated in case you are dealing with a mountain something that doesn't move something that has been there from generation to generation did you get it a mountain doesn't appear overnight a mountain must have been in existence longer than a tree Jesus said what I did was small I spoke to a tree that grew up within a short time he said but let me tell you this even if it's a mountain not something that just happened but something that has been there from generations past an obstruction and hindrance, oh. a limitation, <laughs> a barrier, Woo. something that stands in your way, something that is difficult to break, penetrate, oh. overcome. Jesus said, If you are dealing with such, Woo. there is a way to deal with them. <laughs> he said, When dealing with mountains, he said, Don't look for bulldozers, oh. don't look for explosives. No, no, 
look for words you will say something he said heaven is waiting for you to say something the mountain also is waiting for you to say something what are you going to say don't describe the mountain no 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 it is a describe the size it is a describe the color it says say to this mountain be thou removed be thou taken away be thou cast into the sea command command you command mountains he said you speak to the mountains you command the mountains uh, but, 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 but now here's where the trouble lies he said when you now say it he said the real battle is not with the mountain the battlefield will change from the mountain to your heart he said when you speak make sure that doubt never rises in your heart why was he saying doubt doubt not because the likelihood is to think is what I just said enough to make a big mountain like this move leave the outcome to God give God words to work with and let God go to work no doubt in your heart but believe what do you believe that you have received and then you shall have it difference between receive and having you receive before you have you receive an alert that you have money in your account yes, long before you have the money. Yes, sir. What you have received is a proof that what is in the bank oh. exists. <laughs> hey. We are about to break this yeah. thing now. Yeah. My, father, my, my, father, father, my father, my father, in the name, in of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, I speak, I to, I my speak to my mountain. I speak to I this speak mountain. To this mountain. Mountain of death, mountain of, death. Mountain, of pain. mountain of pain, mountain of reproach, mountain of disease, mountain of cancer, mountain of high blood pressure. I command you out of my life, out of my body, out of my family. Please open your mouth and pray. Something is happening. It shall be done. It shall be done. As you are speaking, it shall be done. Call your sister, call your brother. Something is breaking loose. It shall be done. As you speak, it shall be done. Mention the mountain by name. Say you mountain of infirmity. I curse you. You mountain of pain. I curse you. The Lord has told you that you will be a sign and a wonder. It is so. Every mountain obstructing your progress. Every mountain hindering your speed. Every mountain standing in your way. I come in the place of prayer and I command mountains be removed. Mountains be removed. Mountains of disease be removed. I command the mountain of affliction be removed. The mountain of disease be removed now. Pain in the neck be removed. Affliction of the chest be removed. Abdominal challenge be removed. Every mountain in the mind be removed. Every mountain of blood disease, I command you be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shakapobia telakazia. Raprato fregadia. Le bravane saliza. He papo viateka. Lomposo vieta. Le capo viatea. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Speak. Speak and change your life. Pull the trigger. Speak the word. It's in your mouth. Speak now and change your life. Speak now. Don't be speak. Speak your right In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I speak over Sandra. 
I speak over Sitembili. I speak over Janet. I speak over McKinley. I speak over Charity. I speak over Talatu. I speak over Nicholas. I speak over Michael. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, I decree that the mountain of the season of pain be over in your life. Amen. From today, I decree that the mountain of the season of disfavor be out of your life. Amen. From today, walk into the season of favor. Amen. Walk into the season of favor. Amen. I speak favor into your life. Amen. I speak favor into your life. Amen. I speak favor into your life. Amen. I speak increase into your life. Amen. Who am I praying for? From today, scarcity is over. Scarcity is over. Stella, no more scarcity. Jackie, no more scarcity. In this area, no more scarcity. In the name of Jesus, I speak surplus into your life. I speak abundance into your life. I break the curse of scarcity. I break the curse of scarcity. I break the curse of lack. Somebody type and declare, no more lack. No more scarcity. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Say it over yourself. In the name of Jesus, no more lack, no more Something is happening. Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm hearing the Lord said it's time to pull the trigger. You will declare powerfully. Pastor Shagun, there are 21 of you. The Spirit of God is ministering to my heart now. The Lord said I should announce to you that you have entered into a 90 day season Amen. of supernatural speed. Amen. Things will be happening quickly. Amen. Things will be happening quickly. Amen. Who am I praying for? You've been praying for speed. The Lord sent me to announce speed. The Lord sent me to announce speed. Your sister has been praying for speed. Call her and tell her there's an anointing for it in the house. Your brother has been praying for speed. Call him and tell him there's an anointing in the house. Let them connect now. Your friends have been praying for speed. Tell them to connect now. Share the link with them. Open your mouth and say, my father. Say, my father. I have entered into my season of supernatural speed. Things will be happening quickly. Swiftly, speedily, say it again. Things will be happening quickly, swiftly, speedily, and suddenly. Jesus, it will be out the spirit of the Twenty one of you, twenty one of you, the anointing for supernatural speed is resting on you. The job will come in a speed. The job will come in a hurry. That job that should have taken a long time before you are given the letter, they are collapsing the time. It will be given in a hurry. The time will be cut short. Speed over your life. Somebody is watching me. From the time you get connected to the man, to the time of your marriage, the time will be cut short. I'm hearing supernatural speed. Amen. Somebody type and declare. It's my season, it's my season. of supernatural, supernatural speed. speed. Give him praise if you believe it. Jesus. <laughs> 
Elaga, Hatabala Susia, E Pashama, E Pashama, E Vene Bacosia, E La Pavena Bosiate, E Peradati, E Legate, E Povoriata, Hanga Pashi Kita, E Le Poviate, Hakan Bedosi, In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Dora, Becky. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should announce to you, Kanya. The Lord is saying, I should announce to every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ yes. that you have entered into the season of divine connections. Amen. Divine connections. Amen. Divine connections. Amen. Divine connections. Amen. I have a Lord saying, They are coming. Oh. They are coming into your life. Amen. You have heard others testify. Amen. The Lord said it's your turn. Amen. Maria is your turn. Amen. Stephanie is your turn. Amen. Polly is your turn. Amen. Nancy is your turn. Amen. Divine connection. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lizzie, it's your turn. Amen. Odira, it's your turn. Amen. Emerentia, it's your turn. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody type yeah, yeah, and declare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my turn. It's my, it's my turn. Evel, it's, it's your turn. Sabuawi, it's your turn. In the name of Jesus. Agnes, it's your turn. Joy, it's your turn. David Watson, it's your turn. Amawumi, it's your turn. Somebody declare with your mouth. It's my turn. In the name of Jesus, it's my turn. In the name of Jesus you will see it. Amen. 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 I break the limitation. Amen. I destroy the hindrance. Amen. I take the barrier away. Amen. I destroy the yoke. Amen. I break the curse. Amen. Esther, you are breaking through. Amen. Xavier, you will receive it. Amen. Comfort, it's your turn. Amen. Lola, it's your turn. Amen. Love it, it's your turn. Amen. At Bata, it's your turn. Chinelo, it's your turn. Chiamaka, it's your turn. Oyefunke, it's your turn. Happy Ba, it's your turn. Hanato, it's your turn. Iparovia, take an amasata. Japalia, Pomparo, Siketia. Hikavendo, Riesakatia. Queen Glenda, it's your turn. He pronounce the kata. He pray to Vrekadia. And the bossy kata. Irene is your turn. Miriam is your turn. Choice is your turn. Adam is your turn. Mary is your turn. Impermanence of the kata. Musa is your turn. Kupala de de da ba. Shakapa yata. It's your turn. Amen. It's your turn. Amen. I hear supernatural Amen. speed. Amen. I hear supernatural speed. Amen. I hear divine connection. Amen. Please stretch your right hand out. The Lord said I shall announce to you. Help us are coming to hold you. Amen. By the hand they shall introduce Amen. you. By the hand they shall lift you. Amen. By the hand they shall help you. Amen. I speak your help us into your life. Amen. This day in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is a grace I enjoy. Please, as I pray this prayer, if you are kneeling down your house, kneel down. If you are standing, stand. But you can't be in the bed. What, it's a grace I enjoy. God has never made me to be helpless. Everywhere I turn, I receive help. I have received the grace of God to attract the help of men. From this day, like the apostles pray, such as I have, such as my wife and I have enjoyed, we give unto you. Help us come into your life. Destiny, help us come into your life. Destiny, help us come into your life. Home and abroad, they are coming into your life. Help us will not be far from you. Lift us will not be far from you. Provide us will not be scarce again. Providers will not be scarce again. Providers will not be scarce again. Interpreters will not be scarce again. Counselors will come every direction, every direction. Mentors will show up in your life. 
coaches will show up in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you need money, money will be available. Amen. When you need men, men will be available. Amen. When you need machine, machine will not be scarce. Amen. When you need equipment, they shall be available. Amen. When you need resources, they will not be scarce. Amen. I bless you by the blessing of the Amen. Most High. Ohio, you are blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. prosper in every direction. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing the word turn it around turn it around turn it around when the Lord turned the gate our captivity we were like those who dreamt somebody's watching me now I have a lot said I'm turning it around like a dream 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 somebody type and declare say my father my father say turn it around like a dream turn it around like a dream Turn it around like a dream. 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 In the life of Esther, turn it around like a dream. In the life of Margaret, turn it around like a dream. In the life of Obuchi, turn it around like a dream. In the life of Otumbi, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, turn it around like a dream in the life of Aries. Turn it around like a dream in the life of Nicole. Turn it around in Barovia. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. There is someone watching me right now. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should announce to you that you've gone through this adversity for a long time. And the Lord said it has caused you several pains. In fact, I see a situation whereby the embarrassment became so strong, particularly in the last four days. And the Lord said the embarrassment was so much so that you began to cry and you actually asked a question. My father, why is this happening to me? Are you, are you watching me? You're beginning to ask questions. You love God. You honor God. But you're wondering why is God letting you go through this? This is a matter going on right now. But your father sent me to announce to you that I'm turning it around like a dream. I, I have I, and there's somebody watching me right now. Thank you Lord Jesus. There's a family so close to you. There's a family so close to you. They are going through the worst moment of their lives. Please, this is very specific and prophetic. There's a family so close to you. They are going through the worst moment of their life right now. I don't know for whatever reason. Either loss of job, loss of health. Uh, there's a crisis going on. But they are going through their worst moment. You are aware of it and you are praying with them. I'm speaking to somebody right now. There's a family you are connected to. They are going through the worst moment right now. You've been praying with them. You've been crying to God with them. Please, the Lord said I should tell you to be a prophet to them. Oh. Tell them that the Lord said Lord. that because you have appeared before him, that because of your presence on his, in his presence, the Lord said I should tell you to tell them I am turning their captivity around. Amen. In fact, I'm speaking to you. You actually have presented their names on God's altar. And the Lord said, go back and tell them that the captivity has been turned around. Amen. The health, the health situation is already being reversed. Amen. The health situation is being reversed. Amen. If you can connect Thank them you, now, Jesus. let them connect now. The health situation is being reversed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's somebody, there's somebody watching right now. The Lord said you're about to embark on something very significant. You're about to begin a major project, a major journey. You're about to start pursuing a big goal, something very big, something really big, big, big. I mean, this is the biggest you have attempted in your lifetime. This is the biggest you have invested into. You're about to put your legs into these waters, but you are afraid. My father, I hope it will not drown me. I hope it will not overflow me. I hope I will not get to the middle and I will be stranded. The Lord sent me to announce to you, my presence will go with you. My presence will go with you. In fact, the Lord said, I will personally go with you. Exodus 33 verse 14, New Living Translation. The Lord said, I should tell you, I will personally go with you. And 
and everything will be fine. Oh, everything will be fine. Amen. Everything will be fine. Amen. Everything will be fine. Amen. You thought you had a river before you. The Lord said as you begin the journey, it will be a dry ground. Amen. You didn't hear that one. You didn't hear me. The Lord said I should tell you that you thought you had a river to cross. The Lord said what you have is a dry ground. Amen. The Lord said, as you take the step oh. into the river, yes. you will discover it's a dry ground. Amen. What you thought will be a battle oh. will not be a battle at all. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, go forward. Amen. Go forward. Amen. Your presence oh. will make the difference. Amen. Your presence yes. will make the difference. Amen. Father, let your presence make the difference. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please everybody right now We're going into the call prayer Get your communion ready Can you go ahead now and share the video Every one of us God bless you Please my YouTube people YouTube YouTube warriors Let's get into it Let's dig into it YouTube warriors Everybody copy the link Share right now In the name of Jesus Christ Everyone on Facebook God sent me today To pray for you God sent me to pray for the sick. Those believing God for miracles. Tomorrow is going to be a power Friday. will be an extraordinary time. Don't miss tomorrow. We're praying for that already. Today, somebody's miracle is in the house. Somebody's breakthrough is in the house. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you go ahead and begin to share? Everybody, go ahead and share the video now. And as you share, can I pray for you? Father, everyone share it this life, light and your presence with others as they share, I ask that your blessing will abound towards your children. Amen. Let every hand that shares never lack. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. you will never lack. Amen. In Jesus mighty name Amen. Oh, oh, thank you. Somebody say Pastor Sam I am not sick in my body is it possible? What is sick is my business. Oh. My finance is sick. Right now, right now, if you are a businessman, you are a business owner. I don't know why I am drawn to pray for CEOs today. CEOs, business owners. If you have a brother, a sister who is a business owner, I want to pray for them now. Please, they should not miss tomorrow also. I want to pray for CEOs now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Son of God. Every CEO watching me. The Lord said I should announce to you. What I call a net breaking miracle. CEOs watching me now. Business owners. The Lord said I should announce to you. Net breaking miracles. Amen. Net breaking miracles. Amen. If you believe it, you will type it. Oh, Net breaking miracles. miracles. Amen. You have seen prosperity, Absolutely. but you haven't seen what God is bringing. You have seen breakthroughs, but you've not seen what God is about to give you. I call it net breaking such as you have never seen it will enter your hand such as has never happened you will encounter the contract you have never signed you will sign remember it was announced here remember it was declared here Go ahead and say, Father, I receive it. Father, I receive say, Lord, I receive Lord, it. I receive. And as you receive it, say, My Father, my God, my Father, my God. I vow to praise I you. Vow to praise I vow to I honor vow you. To honor I you. vow to appreciate I you. Appreciate when I receive it, when I receive it, it is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. There's a family that is in a very bad financial shape. You are in a mess financially. Financial mess. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying, I shall announce to you that this reproach is over. Amen. The reproach is over. Amen. The reproach is over. Amen. The reproach is over. Amen. Zapaliyada mashakatiya. The reproach is over. Amen. 
Vipalia, Ezekoni, Ebavadia, Elado Vigedia, Ebrado Gisalata, Azivento Vigalidia, Eshamanta Paliza, Ebrado Vigede, Edavalto Vigedia, Azeparo Viata, in the name of Jesus, this reproach is over. The healing power of God is still flowing. The healing power of God is still flowing. The healing power of God is still flowing. There's somebody watching right now. The Lord is saying, I should share something with you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Please, get your communion ready. The Lord said, I should share with you what I saw in the spirit. I saw the prodigal son in my spirit. I just saw the picture of the prodigal son. And I saw him, please watch this carefully. Please don't miss what I'm about to say. Thank you, Father. I, I see the picture of the polygon son in my spirit. And what I see is somebody who is struggling to get what he normally does not even bother about. Struggling to feed. This is somebody that formerly feeding was not his responsibility. His father had servants. <laughs> whose assignment it was to be thinking of making food available for his son. So as a son in his father's presence, food was not his concern. That was the job of servants. Servants were to look for food. God used servants to bring food for him. But, but, but I see him now begging for food. And I say, God, what is going on? Why are you showing me this? And the Lord said, there's someone watching me. What you used to enjoy, you are now struggling to get. What you used to have surplus of, you are now struggling to get. And I said, Lord, what is the reason for this? The Lord said, there's nothing wrong. The Lord said, you drifted away from my presence. The Lord said, you went away from my presence. Please, please, lose this. Watch this carefully. The Lord said, you've not lost me. It's just that I have lost you. Yeah, you've not lost me. I'm still your father. You still recognize me as your father. It's just that you left my presence. You, you've drifted. That's what I'm hearing. Drifted. You've drifted from the father. Work has made you drifted. Prosperity has made you drifted. Assignment has made you drifted. Ministry. Ministry. Church. Church. Open doors has made you drifted. Prosperity has made you drifted. And now. You are having scarcity. Please, the scarcity is not just about money. The joy you used to have in his presence. The peace you used to have in his presence. The confidence you used to have in abundance. In his, whatsoever you are struggling to get now. The father said I should let you know that I am waiting for you. He said return to me. He said return to me. He said return to me. He said, I'm your fireplace. Oh, Return to me. On, I will set you on fire again. Yes. I will bless you again. Yes. I will honor you again. Yes. As my son came back and I honored him again. Yes. I hear the father say, run home. Come on. The father say, run home, run home, run home. Oh. He said, just keep coming. He said, don't worry about where you've gone. Don't worry about where you've been. The father said, I'm still your father. Run home, run home. Run from the place of scarcity. Run to the place of abundance. I hear the father saying, my presence is coming back. My presence is coming back. Coming back to your life. As you return to me, I will restore you. I will restore you. Return and I will restore return and I will restore Jeremiah 15 19 New Living Translation it said when you return I will restore what you've lost I will restore what you've lost your marriage your health your anointing your revelation your mantle as you return to my presence I will restore as you return to my word I will restore somebody say my father say my father I'm rushing home I'm returning back to the place of prayer I'm returning to your presence open your mind and give your praise in the mighty name of Jesus to the place of prayer 
I'm returning back. I'm returning she, ba, 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 ba. in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm returning there. What a, a moment, what a moment, what a moment. To the fireplace, to the fireplace. I'm returning there. Get to my naked time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we're taking communion for restoration. You can take that in. Listen carefully. I like the scripture. Jeremiah 15, 19, New Living Translation. He said, this is how the Lord responds to you. I hope they can put that on the screen. Oh, thank you so very much. We, we have a very nice guy, Chibola. Look at it on the screen. Please, somebody needs to look at this. The devil has been playing a lot with you. It's time to look at it. The light is about to come on now as you take communion. Look at it on the screen. He said, Jubala, can you put that scripture still on the screen? He said, this is how the Lord responds. If you return to me, I will restore you. You return. I will restore. You return. Return to the place of prayer. Return to the place of intimacy. Return to the place of fellowship. There's somebody watching me. You used to flow in the prophetic anointing, but you've lost it. Return. You used to flow with a prayer mantle, but you lost it. Return. This is communion for returning and restoration. He said, if you return to me, he said, I will restore you. Watch this, sir. It says, so you can continue, continue. Something stopped. When you left me, something stopped to flow in your life. People don't know, but you know. Pastor, people don't know you left God. People don't know you left his presence. But you know, something has stopped to flow. Even though you are trying to show people that something is working, you know something has stopped. He wished not that the Lord has left him. But sir, the Lord said I should tell you. Just return. Mama, return. Prophetess, return. Business owner, return to the place of prayer. You used to pray before you were lifted. You drifted after you were lifted. It's time to go back. And the Lord said, as you return, I will restore the anointing. I will restore my presence. I will restore power, peace, provision. Everything you are looking for. When you return, I will restore. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And listen to what he said. And you will continue. It will continue. Amen. What has ceased will oh, continue. Amen. What your health will continue to spring up. Amen. Your finances will continue to flow. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we'll pray.